The Great American Beer Festival, also known as the Distant Fathers Expo. Every year, hundreds of people come to beer festivals like this one to see what it's like to not drink alone. Yes, this is the opposite of AA. This is Alcoholics Conspicuous. It's also a craft beer festival. Yes, there are thousands of unnecessary microbrews on display here. But when it comes right down to it, any one of these beers will make you more racist. Oh, I'm here with the guy from the Pringles can. But, uh, Where are you from? Yeah, from uh, Rochester, New York. Flew all the way in from Denver. Uh, we're drinking some beers today. And uh, you came on your antique tricycle, I see. You don't mass produce this stuff. No, we don't. We, we do a few kegs at a time. Right. And we, we call that small batch brewing. I see that you also bathe in small batches. <laughs> he has an odor. Brewing beer is like making love to Madonna at this age. Ooh. Yeah. It's, it takes a lot of time and patience. You've got to keep stirring and stirring. And uh, at the end, there's way more yeast than you thought there'd be. All right, let's see what you got here. That's a nice head. Yeah, the last time I saw a head this frothy, I was getting blown by a bitch with rabies. Now, what's this tweez and ale? Tell me about tweez and ale. It's gluten-free. It's certified gluten-free with strawberry puree oh and delicious make... buckwheat honey. Gluten-free? Yeah. Gluten-free beer. I don't want to... I don't want to try it, I just want to uh, sniff the area where your balls used to be. <laughs> now tell me, is, is, it, is an essential uh, component in making craft beer uh, to resemble a radish? <laughs> mm, okay, I'm getting a note of tobacco, uh, stale fruit, uh, garlic. Oh, wait a minute. No, that's you. I'm sorry. What's your name? I'm Larry. And from Selkirk? Selkirk Abbey. Wow, oh, this is a very fancy craft brewer, yes. Tell me, uh, looking at you, you're an expert, I'm sure. What beer pairs best with a TV dinner and a broken marriage? I kid, I kid. You have a great look with the hat, too. Besides craft brewing, how long have you been pursuing Moby Dick? Yes. Seriously, this is awful shit. If you want someone to taste your piss so badly, you should start dating Kesha. Okay, I'm here with your, your Lone brewing Tree company. company. Lone Tree Lone Brewing Tree. Company. Yes, it's the beer company that's named after what you hit on the way home. Fish Brewing Company, that's the real name. You're a bunch of losers. These names are never going to work. Here, I've got some names. You pay attention. All the good hobbies were taken lager. This is why I'm morbidly stout, stout. Gay after three beers pour. Start a fight with your lawn jockey ale. And by the end of the night, I'll say the N-word lager. How you doing? doing it's right. very sweet. How old is she? Ten months. Ten months. My goodness. We've got one adorable one here, and right here we have another one on the way. <laughs> Isn't that great? Don't drink, it's not good for the baby. <laughs> and you, uh, and so you're trying out a lot of beers? Yes. You consider yourself a good judge of beers? Yes. Because you certainly aren't a good judge of food portions. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I did it again. I made a joke about his girth. Check it out, women. These are the only girls here. I've seen a better male-to-female ratio at the Vatican. <laughs> All right, I'm talking to Paul. Now, this man, uh, you're a beer judge. I am a beer so judge. So you judged a bunch of beers today? I did, 4,800 beers. So you're a connoisseur of microbrews? Yes, microbrews. It's very interesting because I consider myself a connoisseur of pretentious jagoffs, and I find you fascinating. <laughs> you want to hear a joke? I do. A microbrew connoisseur walks into a bar and he says to the bartender, give me your finest pumpkin ale, but make sure it's not too hoppy. 
So the bartender takes out a baseball bat and beats him senseless while everyone cheers. <laughs> yeah, I think this second beer here in front of us has a little more caramelly malts in it. Believe it or not, they actually have classes here in microbrewing. You know, China is beating the shit out of us and we're learning about respect craft beer. beer. Respect beer. Oh, Wanna respect beer? I'll show you some beer you should respect. Right here, baby. Right here. <laughs> You are a beer judge? Yes. Wow. What kind of fancy shit is this that you're uh, making everyone drink? What's so special about this it? This has those apricots in it. Ooh, apricots! apricots. <laughs> Ooh, look at me, yummy apricots! Drink it, bitch! Drink it! <laughs> Get it in there! That's beer, man! Here, you can use this for your class. Just take it. Take the arm, everything. It's all yours. <laughs> Barry, yeah, did that platinum one. Kush, um, purple haze, not bad. Blue dream. Okay, all right. Okay. Blue dream. Yeah. The, the, bigger. The big, bigger. 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 Right, gonna need a lot of bigger. bigger. That's more. More. Come on. Get it out there. There. Keep it going. Bigger. <laughs> Come to Colorado, folks, for an unforgettable experience, which you will never remember. Oh. Yeah. He's really compromised as a journalist. <laughs>